Do women need men? No! Jesus Christ. No. Of course not. No. You know hear I me? Mean? It's so cold outside. Excuse Thank me. you for, um... Excuse me. Can you... Can you at 2G's already, so we get here. First night, I'm being a, I'm being a whole gentleman. I'm being a whole gentleman. Have you not? Have I not been a gentleman to you, though? What's up, Tube? Let's get into it. We got a bunch of great clips. We're just going to talk about it, have some fun on this Friday. Get into it, boys. Why are men expected to act like a husband in a boyfriend stage, but you don't feel as though you need to act like a wife in a girlfriend stage until somebody chooses to make you a wife? You're wrong! Make it make sense. If you never displayed qualities of being a wife, why would anybody want to make Thanks. you one? It sounds like women just never want to put any effort for us. Like, we feel like we just have to offer minimal effort, and that should be significant enough. That and the cat should just have it in the bag. Mm. What? I don't know about y'all, but if I'm choosing to be in a relationship, I'm in it to win it. Do you want dinner, baby? Massage, baby? Baby, what do you need? <laughs> Y'all are literally admitting to doing half it and then wondering why you still are not a wife. And they got the audacity to be complaining about why Suzanne's a wife before you. You haven't showed anything. You're doing what any other do. Stand out. We don't do that here. Look, that's totally facts, man. Uh, really, y'all want, you know, women want men to be husbands, expecting them to pay bills. What do husbands do? Husbands pay bills. All right, you don't see a man dating you after the first night and be like, "Yo, can you put a, a nice home cooked meal together for me? I'm about to come over and eat it. Then we can go, we can go chill." You don't hear men talking about doing that, nah, dude. But on a second date, y'all talking about paying medical expenses and and buying shoes for your kids, for kids that don't even belong to that man. We didn't heard the stories, man, and it's wild. The expectations need uh, to be like y'all just need to be getting to know one another in the dating phase, straight up. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Happy Let's go. <laughs> Why I ain't thinking that shit? Yeah. Why I ain't thinking that shit? I thought you were gonna get suspicious as hell when I walked outside. When I talked you already to knew? Yeah. Why do I ain't think of that shit? Yeah. Happy Father's Day, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take it out. Right? That's crazy around the block. That is crazy. That's a win. That's a dub. <laughs> what you talking about? The rims? What? <laughs> you said the rims? What? Why I ain't thinking that shit? Clean. Like, Damn, clean that drum, that way. That way he said. Yeah. <laughs> wow, incredible. Man, this is very refreshing, man. Uh, very refreshing to finally see a man. Get a, man, that's a beautiful relationship. He, She is definitely putting him up one, get, putting him in a position to make money. Uh, I can't be uh, any more happier than your brother. Uh, just stay up, man. You, you, those those non CDL box drivers out there getting money right now, man. If, if y'all know what I'm talking about, leave it in the comments. But you boys are getting money, man. I respect the hustle. Do women need men? No. Jesus Come on. Christ. No. What's that? No. Why? No. Why? Can't live with them. Can't live without them. We do not need them. Not at all. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. I mean, no. We the prize. I love it, but not really. We won, but don't need him, baby. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Jesus Christ. No. We the new n We are the men these days, though. We are. Wait a minute. Who are you? Oh my god, dude. Uh, they ran through. We're just gonna put it like that, man. Because most of the time, people that are hollering they don't need men is because they want to be on their strong, independent stuff because they couldn't, they can't figure out life. All right, let's just put it like that, man. They can't figure out relationships. They don't know who them, who they are themselves, and yet, so they put the focus on themselves. You heard the lady at the end. We are the, we are the men. You are no. No, that's not how this works, man. Come on. So you took us to a museum for our first date. Yeah, this is a good experience. How much was the ticket? Oh, it was free. Mm. Um, what you mean? Um. <laughs> oh, this is nice. It's a nice campus, right? I like the art. You like this art? I mean, it was free to get in here. I'm sure somebody liked the art. Mm. I just like the museum. Are you gonna take us out to eat or something? Yeah, I'm really feeling this right here, this taco stand. Can you just take me home? Shit, I walked here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Shit, what you mean, is LA? 
<laughs> it's the biggest piece of dog shit. Be broke themselves. End of the story. Be broke themselves and gotta catch the bus. I promise you, dog. Like <laughs> always looking, always looking for the come up. This is a great POV. Uh damn near hilarious, man. Shout out to these guys. Smash the homies. <laughs> And that's just the truth. <laughs> he seen what it was, and he still decided to mess with me. So that's your decision. That was you red. can't mess. You can't uh, listen. Everybody have a past. We all have a he past. He's there because we're all friends. So you seen what I did. You chose to still. F with he me. seen what you did. Four of them hit before one of them cuffed. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Basically, and yes. he knows that all four of them hit. I will never. <laughs> <lie>. <laughs> me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Man, I can't believe this. This is my second time running into this uh, this clip. You know, this looks a little bit different. But man, for you guys that haven't seen this clip, yeah, dude, they were all friends. She let them all smash, and then one decided to marry him. Oh, we all know who that. <laughs> we all know that simp dude. So the whole clip, it, 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 she is going off talking about how she's married, but she has no respect for this man because he knowing that she had this past still wanted to marry her why even say yes blows my mind you got your girls laughing at you you got your homies probably scratching their head like man imagine what the barbecue looks like <laughs> when they all come over number one sign a man is untouchable if he loses his wallet and all of his cards are gone, his ID is gone, and he, that man is walking around using Apple Pay, using his passport, and he is completely unbothered. Oh, that is a certain level of chill that I wish everyone can get to. What? The judge in Fulton County ruled that Tayana gets to keep four of their main properties worth about $10 million. Iman has to make a one-time payment of $1 million. Iman also has to pay $8,000 a month in child support. Stop it. Get some help. For their girls, Rue and Junie, and cover all their private school fees. Tayana is keeping a bunch of cars, including a Maybach, a Mercedes Sprinter, a tour bus, and her favorite the bronco she's also holding on to her businesses tailor-made and auntie's looks like tayana came out with a big win she won all right y'all let's move on Dang, the e man come on, bro. You should have known better, bro. You're a celebrity, man. I mean, you're, you're an athlete. Someone should have warned you to sign the prenup, my guy. Dog, I, dude, we're going to see e man in the big three trying to make a comeback, dog, or something, man. Like, you should know better. Come on, man. You should know better by now. Like, ah, I don't know, man. Yo, she is walking away with a lot, dog. A lot. And I don't know too much about Tia, uh, Tiana's career or how successful that is, but or if they got there together. But I know you man was he's a baller and he he got his own bread by balling. So for her to take half of that, ooh, I know that stings, man. Again, I'm gonna wish you the best of luck, man. You gotta sign the prenup though, bro. You had to sign it. I, don't, I just don't get it. You talking about she don't want nobody to touch her. Man, you got me up. You mean well you can leave. First of all, hold on, hold on, hold on. I man. First she talking about she don't even fly spirit, right? The talking about she don't fly spirit. No. Like like she get like okay, okay, so I get her mother yeah, so I get her mother Delta. That's damn near six, seven hundred last minute, right? Okay. So plus her bags, check in, all that shit. We go get her the Uber, all that shit. Then I'm damn near at two G's already. So we get here. First night I'm been I'm being a whole gentleman. I've been a whole gentleman, have you not? Have I not been a gentleman to you though? Have I not done anything? But you should have knew what it was if I flew you out here though. Stop the cap. Why come out here then? So y'all, this is the Instagram model. You know what? I ain't gonna even be no petty ass. Put your name on there like that. Okay, so why the would you come halfway across the country knowing you didn't want to on that? I ain't say you did. You know what it was though. You knew what it was. You want to spend money. I spent five G's on you. What are you talking about? Five G's. What are you talking about? So look, she didn't. Oh, let me talk. Shut up. Shut up. Then we so we about to go eat, right? 
So shorty to my she hungry. So shorty, call, call him. Call him. Pack all this shit. I'll help you. I'll help you read. Pack all this bum shit up. Pack all this shit. Pack all that shit up. It's not even about the. It's not even about. The, it's really about the money because it ain't about nothing. Here's the point that I want to point out, man. The fact that he invites you to fly out here, it is almost like uh something is implied, ladies. I'm about to fly you out here and do all these things, and we're about to come out here and chill. A lot of times, this is implied that hey, I want to have an encounter with you, and you know what? I want to have a late night encounter with you. You know what time it is. So when you get here and you play dumb, it just almost calls for frustrations, just like this whole incident man which is wild she's not entitled to give it up bro you're not entitled to fly out so prompt the thing is y'all both just no you just wasted your time and money she didn't waste her time and money it's not gonna be a good relationship and not gonna be a good vacation i don't know this is frustrating guys stop spending your money flying people out we don't do that here just stop it though just stop it all right go out there and get local bro you had better chances then but I get it. She she one of those models that you wanted to pick on. Um, you know, one of those models you was lusting after. She said, "Yeah, but man, I'm I'm saying, ladies, you know, there's something is implied. I need you to wake up." When I first met my husband. I was working my engineering job with my own place while he was sleeping on our mentor's couch with a roommate whose cat used to piss on all of his clothes. And guess what? I used to sleep on that couch that probably had a thousand asses across it with him. And then when we dated the second time, he had his own studio apartment, but he was sleeping on the floor. And guess what? I slept on that floor with him. And then when he decided to quit his job to build out his credit repair business, I'm the one that financially supported us for four months and then put my dreams to the side for a year in order to help him build it. And it was the best investment I've ever made in my life. And before all the traumatized girlies come in here talking about it could never be them, let me put you on game real quick. Instead of looking for a man with money, I was looking for a man who was honest, dedicated, passionate, intense, purpose-driven, selfless, caring, with a big-ass heart and a big-ass dream. And in return, I got the happiest, healthiest marriage that I could ask for and the most perfect husband that I could have never fabricated in my mind. And I decided to stick beside him and support him in whatever he needed because I knew because of the man that he is, he was going to be successful in whatever he did. And because of my investment, now instead of spending all of his money, I get to spend all of our money. And yes, there's a difference. Yo, she a real one, man. When we talk about uh, women that, that stay with you through the thick and thin and help you level up, I promise you, I, I went to this event. These This this couple was selling insurance. And uh, it's really nice to see couples become multimillionaires themselves. This couple, uh, they had educations as pharmacists uh, and that they were married, but they decided to stop it and pursue a uh, their own business in selling insurance. And uh, they did so, built their network so much that then, you know, their passive income equates to millions of dollars. And they're, that, I call that a power couple. They put a lot of things to the side. I'm pretty sure it was, you know, it was the husband's lead on doing this. And that's like making a lot of life decisions, though. Putting a lot of things on hold, a lot of things that you worked on hold. Just imagine you go to school to be a pharmacist and your husband is telling you, look, I don't want you to be a pharmacist no more. I want you to come help me run this insurance business. Would you do it all? All right. They weren't millionaires at the time of being pharmacists, but look at where they're at now. And that's why I said I love to hear those power couple stories. You don't hear them too much. You're my Uber? Nah. It's not no Uber. Are you sure? Well, yo, hold on, yo, hold on, hold on. I just told yo, what, what are you doing? Hold on. Yo, what are you, what are you doing? Okay, I think I came out Uber. No, 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 no. I just, I just, I just, I just. Listen, listen. I just told you this, it's not no Uber. You know hear I me? Mean? It's so cold outside. Excuse Thank me. you for um. Excuse you me. Can you can picking you, me up? No, 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 no. no. Listen, can you um? Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you, can, I just lost my heel. Listen, listen, listen. Can you? Ooh, it's can, so warm. Listen, can you um unlock that door, please? No. This is crazy. Excuse me. What are you doing? Can you um unlock that door, please? No. This is this is not an Uber. This is Uber. No, it's not. This you you just walk. You don't see it's it's oh, too door, you're making it cold. No, I'm not closing my door. You this this is this, this is, is Uber. This is not what can I see your app? Can I see your app? No. 
Oh, let me get back in there, man. It's too cold to be playing right now. Excuse me, can you? What, what, what did you, what did, can you, can you, can you um, unlock that door, please? For no, me? I'm, I'm going home. Can you drive me home, please? No, this please. is not an Uber. I just need a ride. I understand it. It's not, it's not an Uber. But I just need a ride. I mean, get on the, get your app. But. Can you give me a ride home? Like, come on. Damn, they were on my head. You about to eat all them by yourself. Calm <laughs> down. Disrespectful. Yeah, I mean, you got vibes, so. He got, he got, what? He got glizzy vibes. Oh, dog. You don't want to be the man caught with the glizzies. Bro, no plate. He got no plate. <laughs> no napkins. <laughs> well, you know you gotta eat them bad boys with a fork and a knife these days. You know how they say keep a roster while you're dating helps soften the blow when somebody doesn't work out? Well, what they failed to mention is the possibility that you can end up breaking up with your entire roster in a short period of time. I didn't go through one breakup. I went through three back to back i thought that, like if somebody in your roster gets dropped from the team and then you replace them what do you do when the entire roster disappears overnight that's not how it's, that's not how this was supposed to work i put so much time and energy into building my roster where was the warning label this wasn't in the fine print not like i would have read it anyways but this is why you don't really need a roster, ladies, man, because not only that, once these people on the roster realize, man, she's just dating around or I'm in the I'm the friend zone roster player is over with over with for you. They all drop in. Let them know uh, let alone for them to come in contact with one another. Man, that's, that's not good for you, man. Stick with one one guy, because when you actually find that guy that you really like and he's like, damn, dog, she's nice, but she's still dating. That's going to put some flags up for this dude. Dudes don't want to date a woman that is dating five, six other, other guys right now. They don't want to be a part of that race. That's just not for them because they're going to just feel like you're just being passed around. Exactly. That's just what it is. You have to ask your husband to buy something. That's financial abuse and that's not okay. And I still hear so many, especially Christians like, oh, but you should always I'm like, this is like crazy. You're not a child. You're an adult. So if you're in a consensual relationship, like, hello, you shouldn't have to ask to buy things. That drives me absolutely nutty. But I found out like the more and more I've worked with tens of thousands of women that they all have to ask, like even to make a like purchase of a dress, like they would have to ask for money. And I'm like, this is freaking crazy. Like nothing boils my blood more. And so I wanted to start teaching people, okay, this is how you can make money from home. And then as they started to make money, they started to have more choices and more options. And then I need to teach them like, okay, here are all of the things you could do with the money you're making. So that way you can never be under, you know, somebody's fist. I hate that. No, I really think, uh, you know, when you have to ask yourself a uh, husband for something to purchase, that's actually a sign of respect. That's just that's just me. Uh, hey, look, can I can I go buy something? Can I use the money that we work for together? We can buy this big old, especially if it's a big purchase, man. You got to get that that, uh, you know, that input on their own purchasing, because that's just a sign of respect, man. You don't want to just go off and start sp spending money all willy nilly. That's just not going to work out, man. That's just going to cause a schism in your relationship. You're going to have something to fight, fight about. And then it's just going to be financial argument i'm telling you when you get to financial arguments as a married couple they're never pretty they're never nice uh even even if you're in a boyfriend girlfriend uh phase and you start talking financials bro it's never nice at all